Okay, my outstanding friends, this is going to be kind of a serious uh, discussion because th there's things that people don't know about. So they can't make a good decision until they know about things that are truthful things. Now, Ron Reagan Jr. here got on TV and says, I'm a proud atheist, I don't care about burning in hell, and I want to be free from religion. Freedom from religion. He doesn't want any religion in politics. And I agree with that. A hundred percent. Yes. No question whatsoever. Re people, some people are, want religion. Some people don't. But a lot of people that don't want religion don't understand a thing about our past because they have been misled by academia. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. And I would like to have a debate with Ron Reagan. Junior here because I and, and I thought that he was he's a, a commentator of celebrity he's making statements and I'd like to talk to him about those statements I think that's a reasonable request all right here's what he has to say in these debates they were doing a debate on TV I guess between Biden and um, oh what's the other guy uh, Bernie Sanders I guess it was and they in the middle of this debate he comes out in the middle of it and here's what he has to say Hi, I'm Ron Reagan, an unabashed atheist, and I'm alarmed by the intrusions of religion into our secular government. That's why I'm asking you to support the Freedom From Religion Foundation, the nation's largest and most effective association of atheists and agnostics, working to keep state and church separate, just like our founding fathers intended. Please support the Freedom From Religion Foundation. Ron Reagan, lifelong atheist, not afraid of burning in hell. Well, let's talk about that because I don't know if, if Ron Reagan Jr. has the information that would make him afraid. Because <laughs> I'm telling you what, I'm afraid. <laughs> I, was, I was just like him for a long, long time. So you say, well, Roger, what would you say to Ron Reagan in a debate? Because I, I got a feeling I won't hear from him. I have never heard from anybody. <laughs> because I come with with evidence and and once you have evidence nobody wants to talk to you after that so here's my evidence okay most people have heard that there was giants on the earth in those days and what if there were what if that was a giant fingertip and what if you know this was the fingernail on that fingertip and what if it was almost three feet long and it was a fingertip and what if that fingertip had fingerprints on it too What if those were the sweat pores in the fingerprints? What if that was one fingerprint ridge as thick as my finger, as my thumb? What if that was true? What if there was other giants and they were all over the place? What if there was a hand that was this big? Three feet wide, a little more. And what if I took the parts from all these things and had them DNA tested and I took parts here and there and had them CAT scan? And what if there was other ones that I found in the same hole except they were the lungs of people our size? And what if that was DNA tested as well? This would lead you to the conclusion that there may be some substance to what was written in these ancient texts. And these are the DNA tests on all three of those samples I just showed you. And they were excellent quality DNA. And it was done six years ago. And the lab stands behind the results just as long as you understand I was the extractor of the DNA. I sent it to them. I drilled deeply into artery blood, excellent quality DNA sequences. And they were the mother's side DNA. Now, we did not do the father's side. I was the first one, I believe, in the world to have ancient DNA tested. This was oh, six, uh, six, almost seven years ago. And these were the sequences. And all we did was the, we looked for two sequences that determined it was 
the human DNA. That's all I cared about was to prove that those samples that I just showed you, those specimens, were human because I was being told by Yale and Harvard I was just insane, Dinosaur State Park, not a single one of them would respond. And this is why we don't know what is going to happen to us at the end of our lives because we're being told there is no such thing to us today just don't worry about it just do what you want who cares there's no god nobody's going to hold you responsible for anything and that's why we are in the situation we're in right now there's no morality there's no truth you know i mean a few people here and there but i'll tell you what none of none of the ones i can see that are in control have any of those attributes all right, this gets extremely deep. This is Emmanuel Velikovsky. He is my greatest hero ever, and he should be the greatest hero ever in history. He went back and researched deeply all of the ancient texts, carvings, papyruses, tablets, the whole nine yards, katushas and glyphs from everywhere in the world, not just relating to the Bible. He went to South America, to China, India, Japan, everywhere. And they all had this same, same, same story in the beginning. And we will I'm going to show you just what happened and how Earth ended up with this deluge. And it appears to me that just as what was written could very well be that gods were involved in this. Now, I will show you why I can make those statements. It wasn't just an accident of history. Uh, I could have been. I can't make any conclusive statements. I can only show you what the historical documents were, because this is what Velikovsky did, and they forced him to take his book off the bookshelves. That's the academics. They don't want you to know about God. That's what I determined, because in, in the 10 years plus that I've been doing the mud fossil research of those things that I showed you I have had not one single academic ask one single question about it all I've had was you must be a creationist and then they throw all kinds of names at me about the earth and about fluffy clouds in the sky and you know just being a paradiola and all this stuff that I'm just crazy well that is the response of someone that does not want you to know the truth. Instead of a debate, we get that kind of response. Now, Ron Reagan Jr., if he's coming out saying he's not afraid to burn in hell, I would suggest that he debate me. All right, I wrote this book about Velikovsky because he was destroyed by academia, just exactly as I am. And I'm calling it Mud Fossils, Velikovsky, Minds in Collision. Their minds are colliding with reality. I didn't want any money for this. I, it's priced at 99 cents but I you know you could read it for free I think I don't know but I've never gotten any money and I don't want any money and when I discovered the mud fossils a few years ago led on a journey it can only be described as wild and crazy the evidence uncovers discussed and many links to videos provide claims to my truth now this was 2016 so this goes back well, six years and um, and there was no real interest in it whatsoever from anybody all I was I was destroyed let's put it that way they destroyed me so I retreated and started doing these videos which I'm doing right now and I will we will get to the truth of this one way or the other because this cannot stand now I have so much evidence Velikovsky had all the evidence but they dismissed him so terribly and they rallied so many troops behind them that they could actually force the book off the bookshelves because they intimidated the uh, publisher so badly that th th they said they will destroy him if they don't take and he did he said well sorry buddy you can't have your book on the bookshelves and um, he was able to get it republished by a different publisher but it never had the impact that it should have had and if you talk to anybody today anybody in academia and say Velikovsky they'll laugh at you and you they're the ones that should be laughed at you see this they're still after him Worlds in Collision, the book has been heavily criticized as a work of pseudoscience catastrophism. Many of its claims are completely rejected by established scientific community as they are not supported by any available evidence. Nonsense. All right, let's just figure it this way. Let's say Ron Reagan Jr. doesn't believe in the 
flawed in the historical documents at all. He just thinks it's all nonsense. Well, that's what we could debate about. But regardless whether he thinks it's real or not, that that's not the point. He is a public spokesperson that's saying, I'm proud, I don't care about burning in hell, basically saying these people are all crazy and we want freedom from all that stuff. They're trying to take us over as religious fanatics. Well, I don't see it that way. There are some, absolutely, but it goes the other way, both ways. The Scopes monkey trial was exactly the opposite, where you couldn't teach evolution. Now you can't teach the, the creation, which is now it's, it's absolutely proven. So now we should have a trial for the other one. So we try academia for not allowing truth to be told, because all that you're allowed to speak about now is evolution. If you went in and said, oh, no, 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 there was a gods and we had crazy we had monsters and giants and everything, which I have shown, they will destroy your life. So it's time for a, a, some kind of litigation against that, because if you can't see reality, you're just like Ron Reagan Jr. here saying, I don't care, I'll burn it hell, who the hell cares about you, you guys are all idiots. Well, let's talk about the evidence and then make a decision. Then if we're idiots, we're idiots, we'll go on our own way. We may be idiots, happy idiots, and you may be a happy idiot too. Which one of us is right? Which one of us is wrong? The only way it was going to happen is a debate. All right, Ron, I love to debate you, my friend. I can be very respectful, and but I want to present my evidence. And I, you can present any evidence you'd like. I, I'm more than willing to discuss any, you know, and I have, I have my doubts about some things. Don't don't think I, I know everything and I'm just 100%. I'm going to run off of 100% positive of this and that. No, I, I am a material scientist. I will show you things, material things, like the giant's hand and the giant thing, you know, DNA reports. Yes. And then I will relate them to stories that were written. And then we can all make up our own minds. But right now, you have document, you, you've dominated the airwave, and I can't get my word out. And people are going to, if there is a God, and you, it can be proven that some of the things that were written in the past can be proven to be pretty well accurate and not being allowed, that's just disgraceful. That is the, the, the epitome of disgrace. And that's what I've run into for 10 years. I, it's just horrifying, really. I just never expected that what I ran into. And it just keeps going day after day after day. I keep thinking this can't continue. It just can't continue. And it just keeps going. All right, so I'm going to leave it at this for today. Don, uh, um, Ron Reagan Jr., please contact me. I would like to have a discussion with you just to see what is real and what isn't real. You appear to be a pretty rational guy to me. I was like you. I thought it was just insane until the things I found, and those things were insane-er. <laughs> so if you want to go with creationism, uh, that's fine. If you want to go with... Um, Evolution, that's fine. It's up to you. But to not discuss it, not be allowed to discuss it, not be allowed to present the evidence. This is where we're going to end up in a trial. And we're going to have to do the same things they did with the John Scopes trial, the monkey trial. We're going to have to go to anti-monkey trial. <laughs> what are you going to do? Ten years of 100% denial from 100% of the academic institutions. This is exactly opposite of what happened here and it needs to be addressed in the exact same manner it was addressed here legally.